Hello, I'm Captain Josh, and thanks for watching. So the tour started like any other. Uh, we headed out into Icy Strait, and we were actually looking at a humpback whale when I got a call from a friend of mine who was on another boat that was all the way out near Pleasant Island and said that there were orcas there and that they were chasing a sea lion. Uh, by the time we got there, the sea lion was already very dead, but we got to watch the orcas uh, playing with it and chewing on it and moving it around and ultimately devouring it. Uh, I found it interesting how long they took just playing around with it. They were playing with it for almost two hours before they actually decided to eat it. Um, and whether this was a training opportunity for the younger calves or just the animals being playful with their food uh, or something else, we don't really know. Uh, but just the footage that we did get was pretty spectacular. Now, there are three main types of orcas in Alaska. We have resident, which are the salmon and fish-eating orcas, the offshore orcas, which live offshore and we never really see them because they don't come near the coast very often. And then we have the transient or bigs orcas. And these are the ones that we're looking at right now. They feed on sea lions, obviously, uh, but also seals, baby whales, any whale calves they can find, porpoises, uh, sea otter, uh, as well as sometimes even terrestrial mammals such as moose, bear, and deer, if they were to find them swimming between the islands. Uh, they can be very opportunistic in that way. Now, one of the things that we saw that day that was very interesting were orcas that were a little more interested in procreating than in feeding. Uh, you can see them; those are the two on the left there. The male is the one on his side, the female right next to him. Uh, then they dive down a little bit. And then um, the female, actually, she breaks off, and she's a little more interested in the sea lion. So she chases after that, while the disappointed male, he's swimming along. And you can see a semi-erect member right there uh, as he chases after her. These transient orca range from California to the Aleutian chain in Alaska and cover a huge amount of water daily in search of prey, continuously on the move to maintain the advantage of surprise. If they stayed in the same area for long, all the prey would be alerted to their presence, thus reducing successful hunting. With this on-the-move lifestyle, they can easily travel over 100 miles every day. While they are cruising and hunting, they usually do it in silence, because if they alert their prey, the prey is usually pretty good at finding ways of escaping. For porpoises, they just swim away very fast. For seals and sea lions, they haul out onto a rock, or a beach, or something similar. So instead of making noise, clicking and popping and using their radar and so not the radar, their sonar, um, they tend to use a, more of a passive approach, listening for the sounds of their prey, such as a splash from a sea lion or a whistle from the porpoise to find their food. However, after a successful hunt, uh, transients can be quite vocal when socializing. On this trip, I brought along a GoPro and was lucky enough to stick it down in the water and record some of their post-hunting sounds. While I've recorded resident orcas making vocalizations, this is the first time I've ever heard a transient orca making any sort of sound at all. Like I said earlier, these orca played with the sea lion carcass for hours. By the time we went back to Huna and picked up our second tour and made it all the way out to Pleasant Island, they were still chewing on it, though they had made a lot of progress. The white you see is the blubber that the sea lion used to keep itself warm. That blubber, or fat, is the main target for the orca as it is extremely calorie rich and will act as a great fuel for them as they roam over the waters. Almost all marine mammals have thick layers of blubber as it is vitally necessary for them to stay warm in these frigid waters. An orca's teeth are shaped like sharp cones, which makes them great for gripping, but not very good at cutting. If you look closely, you can see how the orca takes off pieces by dragging parts of the carcass underwater and then ripping off chunks by using their whole body to tug at it. This whole process normally only takes about 30 minutes, and then the orcas are off cruising again. 
but today they took their time about eating their lunch. What's amazing is how almost surgical they can be with selecting the different parts of their prey that they want to eat. Uh, the fat, obviously, the, the uh, meat and uh, some of the internal organs, but they are very good about not eating the skin um, or some of the guts, as you can see floating right here, uh, or bones and things like that. Now the reasons why I say they're picky with what parts they eat is mostly based on local stories that I've heard, such as fishermen telling me about randomly finding things like a set of sea lion lungs floating along. Uh, but the best one I've heard was from a commercial sea cucumber diver I met out of Juneau, who told me that while diving for sea cucumbers in about 80 feet of water, he found what he at first thought was a piece of brown tarp on lying on the ocean floor, but when he touched it, it turned out to be a freshly skinned sea lion pelt, uh, stripped of all the fat on it. Now, I'm sure that uh, how picky they are also varies depending on how successful they've been lately. If they're really hungry, then they'll probably eat more of their prey item than if they have plenty of food. If prey is abundant though, then prioritizing the more calorie rich and fattier parts makes sense. Now, one other really cool thing did happen on this trip. While we were trying to catch more audio of the orcas vocalizing underwater, apparently one of them got very curious about the boat that was watching them. So this female orca came and checked us out and swam right past the GoPro we had in the water. I didn't even see this until afterwards, but it just helped make a great day even better. Anyways, that's it for today. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this, and uh, we'll see you next time.